Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on lesson, workbook lesson 194. I place the future in the hands of God. Given the time in the world that we're living through right now, uh, I'm finding that these daily lessons have sort of uh, lined themselves up with exactly what we need to be hearing every day. It's been very exciting these last few days. I hope you've been enjoying it as well. So today's lesson 194 is I place the future in the hands of God. Today's idea takes another step towards quick salvation and a giant stride it is indeed. So great the distance is that it encompasses, it sets you down just short of heaven with the goal in sight and obstacles behind. Your foot has reached the lawns that welcome you to heaven's gate, the quiet place of peace where you await with certainty the final step of God. How far are we progressing now from earth? How close are we approaching to our goal? How short the journey still to be pursued? Accept today's idea and you have passed all anxiety, all pits of hell, all blackness of, of depression, thoughts of sin and devastation brought about by guilt. Accept today's idea and you have released the world from all imprisonment by loosing the heavy chains that lock the door to freedom on it. You are saved and your salvation thus becomes the gift you give the world because you have received. In no one instant is depression felt or pain experienced, or loss perceived. In no one instant sorrow can be set upon a throne and worshipped faithfully. In no one instant can one even die. And so each instant given unto God in passing, with the next one given him already, is a time of your release from sadness, pain, and even death itself. God holds your future as he holds your past and present. They are one to him, and so they should be one to you. Yet in this world, the temporal progression seems, still seems real. And so you are not asked to understand the lack of sequence really found in time, but you are asked to let the future go and place it in God's hands. And you will see by your experience that you have laid the past and present in his hands as well, because the past will punish you no more, and future dread will now be meaningless. Release the future, for the past is gone. And what is present, freed from its brief or from its bequest of grief and misery, of pain and loss, become the instant in which time escapes the bondage of illusions where it runs its pitiless, inevitable course. Then is each instant which was slave to time transformed into a holy instant when the light that has kept hidden in God's Son is freed to bless the world. Now he is free and all his glory shines upon the world made free with him to share his holiness. If you can see the lesson for today as the deliverance it really is, you will not hesitate to give as much consistent effort as you can to make it be a part of you. As it becomes a thought that rules your mind, a habit in your problem-solving repertoire, a quick way, a, a, rather a way of quick reaction to temptation, you extend your learning to the world. And as you learn to see salvation in all things, so will the world perceive that it is saved. What worry can beset the one who gives his future to the loving hands of God? What can he suffer? What can cause him pain or bring experience of loss to him? What can he fear? And what can he regard except with love? For he who has accept, ex, rather, who, for he who has escaped all fear of future pain has found his way to present peace, 
and certainty of care the world can never threaten. He is sure that his perception may be faulty, but will never lack correction. He is free to choose again when he has been deceived, to change his mind when he has made mistakes. Place then your future in the hands of God, for thus you call the memory of him to come, replacing all your thoughts of sin and evil with the truth of love. Think you the world could fail to gain thereby, and every living creature not respond with healed perception? Who entrusts himself to God, who has placed the world within his hands, to which he has himself appealed for comfort and security? He lays aside the sick illusions of the world along with his, and offers both peace. Now you are saved indeed. For in God's hands we rest untroubled, sure that only good can come to us. If we forget, we will be gently reassured. If we accept an unforgiving thought, it will be soon replaced by love's reflection. And if we are tempted to attack, we will appeal to him who guards our rest to make the choice for us that leaves temptation far behind. No longer is the world our enemy, for we have chosen that we be its friend. This is a fantastic lesson. I place the future in the hands of God, especially to, today in these troubling times that we're living through right now. It, it's really important to realize that it's not for us to know everything that's happening here. And, and so to have faith and to have trust and to really own what is ours. So what is ours is our choice. When we make any response to anything that's happening in the external world, that's our choice. We can do it knee jerk or we can do it consciously. And that's what this is all about. It's learning how to do it consciously so that we can maintain the peace and harmony that we've been given. These are not our problems to solve. We are here to be the best we can be individually as individuated aspects of divinity. So I hope you have a great lesson with this today. And if you need me, you can reach out to me, 907-351-3003. I am trying to carry that phone with me more often, but I do check it every day. And, uh, or you can message me on Facebook or on YouTube. Or you can visit my website, lindalamp.com. Namaste and much love to you.